Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. All right, so how's everything, guys? How have you been? How was your weekend? What did you guys do during your weekend? Especially for the ones who didn't work, right? And you, like, you know, like, had a, uh, like, both days off. So how was everything, guys? Hey, one question, guys. Is that true that in uh, the central area, uh, it rained a lot yesterday night? Is that true? Yes, it's sure. Good night. Oh, okay. Good evening. Good evening, Mister. Yes, was a uh, electric. <laughs> yeah. So that was a little bit difficult. The storm. Yes. Hello. I can tell. Uh, just in a second, guys. I'm checking on this. Oh. Um. Okay, guys, so let's start. I'm going to start with the attendance list. All right. Um, Carmen Eugenia. Is it here, Carmen? Okay, so she's not here. Uh, Christian Alejandro. Okay, so Christian is not here. Daniel Arquimides. Present. Okay, great. Uh, Daisy Maricela. Present. Okay, excellent. All right, so this person is not here anymore. Um, Edwin Alexander. Present. Okay, great. Uh, Elwin Vladimir. There is right, so he's not here. Estela Mabel. Estela, Estela. Okay, so she's not here. Fatima Adriana. Okay, it's not here. Fatima Lourdes. Present. Okay, great. Uh, Jaime Antonio. Okay, nice. Carla Lisset. So Carla's not here. Kenia Cecilia. Present. Okay, nice. Uh, Lorena Beatriz. Okay, Lorena is not here yet. Manuel Antonio. Living in present, teacher. Okay, Mr. Uh, Maria Gabriela. Present. Okay, nice. Erin okay, is not here. Noemi Betsabe. Present. Okay, excellent. And we got the last one, who's been Alexis. Present. Okay. There you go, guys. So, so let's start with the contents that we're going to be discussing tonight. So the topic that we're going to be discussing tonight, guys, it, it, it comes related to inventory management. But now we're going to be discussing about how to identify 
an inventory management crisis, right? So we're going to be talking about those negative aspects uh, that most companies so suffer sometimes when it comes to, you know, like a, a bad inventory management and they lead into crises, right? But before starting with that topic, guys, uh, I would like to make a short, you know, like review about what we were doing last class. What was like the most relevant that we were uh, discussing? And also, uh, if I am not wrong, we didn't finish an activity in the last page that we were working on the manual. So we're going to continue with that right after the uh, review. So, but guys, what do you remember from last class? What, what, what was like, you know, like that main topic that we were discussing? Did you guys remember what were we working on? Something, guys, that you might remember from last class? Okay. All right. Hi, teacher. Hi, Kenya. We talk about uh, how to use suffixes. Suffixes? Suffixes, yes. And when we use the verb and when we use a noun. Ah, okay, very yes. good, very good. Okay, so yeah. when generally uh, a verb right can be transformed into a noun just by putting a suffix at the end of the word, right? If you guys remember, give me one second. I'm gonna share this whiteboard over here. All right. So guys. What is uh, generally a suffix? If you guys remember, a suffix a suffix. What is a suffix? It's it's a series of words that we generally have at the end of a word to change its meaning and give a different meaning. It goes like this. So we can define in a short and uh, basic words a suffix, all right? So basically suffix is a series of words that we generally add at the end of a word to change its meanings. All right, oh, instead of words, let's say letters, all right? For example, we just generally add E-R, I-E-R, or in some cases, just simply R. For example, if you got the verb drive, Right, everybody knows what is drive, right? It's a verb that indicates a movement that you generally do with your car, right? So that is a verb. But how to make this verb into a noun? It's just by adding a suffix. For example, you got the word drive and you just add the R over here. And now it changes from a verb into a noun. Now, we are not talking about the action. We are talking about what? We are talking about a person, right? Because drive is the action. Driver is the person, right? Now it changes completely, right? So in that case, it, it goes like this. For example, with the word consume. What is consume, guys? What is consume? Guys, any idea about what is uh, the word consume? Actually, the verb? The person that buys something. 
Uh, okay, in this case, yeah. consume consume means the verb. The verb. Consumir. 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 There you go. So just by adding a suffix over here, so the word it will be consumer. So in this case, now is the person, right? Now it becomes in the person. It's generally a person who buys products and services, right? So now it becomes in a consumer. Any other word that we can set up in here from a verb into a noun? Can you help me, guys? Any other Deliver. word? Any other word? Deliver. Deliver. Yes. Okay. So we just got. Like this, Edwin? Uh, yes, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> what does the rest think? Do you guys think he is correct? Yes, yes or no? Yes, for it's okay for me. Hmm? Listen, this word is not like kindly uh, used. It's not really used at all. Kind of like, you know, like, very often, but in a somehow he's correct, right? So in this case, deliver is the verb, and deliver is the person who gives the deliver, right? It's like, for example, if you got the word send, and you got the word sender, send means enviar, right? And sender is the person who makes the action, right? Oh, it's like receive, and you got the receiver. What do you think is a receiver? What do you guys think receptor. is a receiver? Huh? Receptor. Okay, it can be like a receptor or what else? In this case, related to logistics, what do you think is a receiver? What do you think, guys? Is a receiver? Any idea, guys? Okay, so we can call a receiver in this case to the dispatch where people receive the products, right? So in this case, it will be like destinatario, right? Who receives, in this case, the products, all right, that another company might send. So in that case, that is a receiver. So this is like the way how guys suffix works or suffixes works in this case so we can transform verbs that indicate actions into basically nouns because these ones are nouns guys since we are basically talking about the people all right so we are talking about what we are talking about the ones who makes the action right good so this was basically what we were doing last class, guys, if you remember, right? Now I'm gonna stop sharing over here. And, give me a second, I'm gonna open up my manual. Ah, here it is. And now let's change it into the manual. Yeah, I think this is the one. All right. If you guys remember, this was the last uh, exercise that we were working on last class, right? So what was the exercise about? If you remember, you were ranking the benefits of implementing 
a cycle count program, right? You were classifying from the most important to the least important, right? So that's what we, you, what we were doing over here with this. Now we're gonna continue talking about that, but now doing this activity, all right? On the part eight from that page. By the way, it's page 39, okay? This is page 39. And it says, guys, in groups, it says, because we're gonna be doing this in groups, organize a short presentation. In this case, we're gonna be like a short talk. We're not gonna make a, a presentation that much about a proposal. It says to implement a cycle count program, right? Use the steps in exercise six, it says, all right? These are the steps that it's talking about in here, all right? And it says, use the steps in exercise six to guide you. Then support your proposal with the benefits that a cycle count program brings to businesses. Before starting with this, guys, do you remember what was a counting, a simple counting program? Because if you remember, we were discussing that over here, right? An inventory count accurate, right? So we were doing this presentation. I mean, this conversation, we were practicing this, all right? So now I guess, guys, you still remember what does a counting program means. Besides, you got this already done. So in that case, what are we going to do now with this? Generally, what we're going to do is, as it says in here, we are going to make a short, listen up, proposal, okay? Vamos a hacer una propuesta to implement this kind of cycle count program into a company, right? That's what we are going to do, like right now. So I am going to divide you guys, but before doing that, I would like to know who's as a listener and who's in the class already because I don't have that many people. Uh, let me see. Osbin, are you there now, Osbin? Can you participate today, mister? Yes, teacher. Sorry. Ah, perfect, perfect. Carla, everything okay there? Hello, yes. Nice, nice, nice. Gabby? Same on you, yes, Gabby? Teacher. Yes. Okay, excellent. Let me see. Fatima is a listener. All right, so I guess Elwin can participate because he doesn't have the word listener. Let me see. Yeah, everybody's okay. Very good. There you go, guys. So I'm going to stop sharing in here. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to be going into the practice. I'm going to divide the groups with people who was in the last class. So you will have more experience on what we are going to do, guys. Give me one second. I just need to know how many people I got here. Jesus Christ, I got less than half. Give me a second, guys. All right, let me see. Okay, give me a second, guys. Uh, mm -hmm. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so the group is going to be with four. Okay, good. Let's open up the breakout rooms, guys. And while I'm going to distribute this one into one and two. And let me see. And three. <laughs>
All right, before the starting, guys, uh, do you have any question about what you're going to do? Any doubt? Um, can you explain it again, please? Cool. Christian, you were here in the no. last class, right? Mm, yes. Perfect. Do you remember, Christian, that we were talking about how to, in that case, it was like, in a second, how to keep an inventory, an, an inventory count accurate? And do you remember that we were discussing the conversation about um, two people that uh, they uh, got wrong with uh, um, some kind of products because they didn't have um, accurate the account things? Uh, yes, the 200 golden planks, I guess. Exactly, exactly. All right. So what you guys are going to do now is basically to create a plan about how Listen up about how to um how can I say this? How to implement a cycle, all right, on a program, all right, how to count items inside a warehouse, or how to keep products in that warehouse countable. All right, in a in what way, for example, in this case, this will, this will help you guys to identify where you exactly have the products. Like in that case, uh, for people who manage the warehouse, they know exactly where the products are. What are the, aisle, the aisles that they are, right? What are the shelves that they had to go and take the product out, okay? So that is basically the proposal that you're gonna create. Do you guys understand? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I understand. Okay, perfect. So you can guide Jaime and uh, Daniel, okay? Okay. Nice. Hey, uh, it's not clear for me, but I mean, uh, I will develop the exercise for me. I think I will be clarify. I think. Mm. What you're gonna do, Mister, is to create a strategy. Okay, listen. Create a strategy about how would you do to keep your inventory in the warehouse accountable. How many products do you have? What are the categories of the products that you have? And everything. Okay. That's like the proposal that you are going to create with your classmates right now. All right. How will you know how many products do you have in a warehouse? I mean, so by the proposal that you're going to implement and create with your classmates, you will know how to identify those products. Kind of got it now, Daniel? Yes, uh, yes, say things. <laughs> Start talking about it. I'm gonna go and check in the other ones and then I am going to come back in here just to listen at you guys, all right? Okay, thank you. Nice. Okay. Through more great inventory data. Guys, any question about what you're doing? Everything okay? Yes, teacher. Uh, we will end the first part, uh, number seven, the exercise. We work. Number six, the, ex the activity that you're doing right now, it's basically based on the exercise six. But what you're going to do right now with your classmates is to uh, basically create a proposal to implement, as it says there, a cycle count program. Do you remember about the cycle count program that we were discussing last class? 
Yes. Ah, okay. So basically, that's what you're gonna do. But now this kind of cycle will be personal. You will create it. So you can guide it from exercise six. You can guide it like the steps. All right. How will you do it? And let's remember, this is like to keep your, um, how can I say, your warehouse accountable. So in that way, you will know how many products do you have. So you will know how your products uh, are divided and everything. <laughs> Ah, so Edwin Vladimir was here uh, last class as well, right? Ah, so so he must have an idea about what we're talking about. I guess so. Keep on working on that. Uh, I'll go and check another group, and then we're going to come back just to listen at you what you're doing, okay? So you, if you have any other idea or, or question, so you can let me know, okay? Um, okay. Nice. I don't understand. I don't understand, teacher. <laughs> teacher, <laughs> we have a well, we have I have a question. Yeah. Uh, I know we have to do part number seven because we didn't do that last time. Give me a second. I mean, we did part number six. But we didn't do the exercise number seven. You were here, right? Last class. Yes. yes. But no, uh, but Gabby was not here. No, me was here. Yes, but only listener because I was working. Yeah, I mean, it's true. It's true. Now I remember, guys. Okay. Listen, what you're going to do in there? Okay. In a somehow, it's like a little bit simple what you're going to do listen if you go up in the exercise six from page 38 okay this this will be like uh, your guideline all right just to do this activity it says number the step for a single counting program all right so you got a series of uh, steps in there guys <laughs> right about an inventory everything in here is related uh, 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 to an inventory plan okay so basically what you're going to do is like to create a plan or a proposal in this case in which you are going to explain how you will organize your products in the warehouse how would you know or how would you uh, propose to be organized the amount of products that you have? You will also uh, propose how to identify if you need a product or how much product do you need from a specific category. Okay, so how would you identify that? So basically all that it goes on the proposal that you are going to create, all right? So let's imagine you have a company. You three have a company, all right? And basically you need, listen up, basically you need to know how many products do you have, how many categories of different products you can have. So how will you organize all that in the warehouse. So that's the proposal that you are going to implement. In what way you will categorize or you will do to know all your product there. And uh, in that way, to make the job easier for you and for the people who work with you. So that's what you're going to do. I don't know if you understand the idea. Okay. Uh, in exercise number six, it is like a cycle, right? Because we did uh, all these steps mm -hmm. and then it is going to repeat and repeat again. So that, that's what we're going to do. 
So we have to propose like a cycle count uh, program. And exactly. it has to do, it has to be in our in simple words or we have to use these in number six. I mean, the, the steps for no, number six. We have the to make is, like... The idea is you create the steps and it can be in simple words, as you said, for you to understand better. Ah, okay, okay. And mm -hmm. we add to that the benefits. Uh, what is it? The benefits that a cycle count program brings to the business. Exactly. Ah, it says, let me see. Mm -hmm. Support your proposal with benefits that a cycle count program brings to business. Exactly. So after what you do, uh, after doing all that, uh, you can tell uh, or explain why is beneficial those kind of proposals? What are like the kind of benefits that it brings? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what it is. Yeah. Osbin, now you have you might have an idea. No teacher. <laughs> hey Fritjorn, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey. I mean no he was okay. not here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was problem with my computer. Yeah, I mean, I can tell. I can tell. Osbin, basically, in here, what it what is uh all about is about how to count the product that you have in a warehouse. For example, Osbin, let's let's suppose you have a convenience store. You know what is a convenience store, Osbin? Yes. I can do that, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Nice. Osbin, how will you know how many pounds of sugar do you have in the store? Mm. Maybe you know? uh, maybe uh, 20 pounds. Ah, but ¿cómo sabría usted que tiene besas 25 libras? Mm. In, in the convenience, use a balanza. No, 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 Osbin. No, I, I know what you mean, but in this case, it's like, let's suppose you have on display uh, sugar. Pero como saber cuánto tiene usted en la bodega, in the warehouse? ¿Cuánta azúcar le queda? How would you know that? Mm. Um, using a, a cardex. You will use what? Um, a cardex in, 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 contab in contabilidad se usa un cardex. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm, interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it's, a, it's like an uh, inventory. Okay, good. And how will you know how much sugar you need to buy in order to have in existence? Y como saber cuánto azúcar usted va a comprar o necesita comprar. Um, it's necessary a, a, a good control. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's necessary a good control. Okay, good. So basically, Ospin, what I want you to do with these girls is to create a method or in this case, as it says in there, in the exercise, create a proposal about how to implement a C cycle count program. A cycle count program means ciclo or programa, all right? De conteo, all right? So just to identify how many products do you have, how much product do you have in, in existence? Or how much product do you have in the warehouse? Right. ¿Cómo identificar todo eso? Using a cold bar. Uh, 
Ahora, y se puede ir por ese, por ese lado. Explíqueles a ellos cómo usar el code bar, as you said, right? Y por ahí se pueden ir para crear esa propuesta. Now, are you getting into it now? Yes. Okay, there you go. That's the way how you're going to do. Okay. Okay, good. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. Um I understand I understand that we we can use a code bar. How are you guys going here? Uh, we are working. <laughs> yeah, we are, we are working. We are uh, discussing about four things that we consider that are important for, for, for this. Mm, okay, excellent. Excellent, guys. Yes, um, I, I, I am not sure if we have correct answers. If only one is the correct answer or C, or if we ha have different options. I don't know. For me, it's okay. Yes, I have four, five, one, two, three. Yeah. Uh -huh. Me too. Okay, then we finish. You finish? Oh my God, yes, that was fast. Ah, okay, perfect, perfect. Teacher, tonight yes. we have to answer the, the, how do you say, encuesta? Survey? Survey. I don't know, I don't know if, if people from... English Corporativo ha, have texted you guys? They haven't said anything to you? For, for that reason is my question because I didn't receive or I, I am not sure. The list. You didn't receive any, yeah. any satisfaction survey? I'm sorry. Mm. Uh, no. Or maybe T yes. Teacher, in my case, I received that message in on well last last Saturday. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, Saturday. Yeah, because it, it was on. Uh, let me see. Uh, and the message is, is we have to wait for the instruction uh, to do that survey mm -hmm. and i don't know if you have seen uh, the date in which we are going to finish the course guys because apparently something happened uh, i don't know why that's pretty weird but as far as i i am i am i am looking at at, at, at the attendance and everything uh, I think 
I think we are going to do the satisfaction survey till tomorrow. Normally we we do in the last class day. Listen, I don't know. I yeah, don't know. but the, the in the in the, in the mess I say that finish tomorrow. Eighteen, yes. 18 right? Eighteen. 18. Okay. Let 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 me explain this, guys. Déjenme les explico esto. Cada vez que ustedes entran a la a la a la clase, a ustedes se les graba a uh, la cantidad de minutos que, que ustedes se conectan, ¿correcto? Entonces, esa cantidad de minutos es básicamente parte fundamental. Uh, o sea, es lo más esencial que Insafor básicamente revisa en cada una de las clases. ¿Ok? So, Apparently, tuvimos un error. Aparentemente, hubo una falla de Zoom en una clase. No sé qué sucedió con la plataforma de Zoom, porque ahí sí fue meramente, a, uh, eh, eh, digamos, de Zoom. Pero hubo una clase, si no me equivoco, clase 9, creo. I'm not pretty sure about it que no se guardó o no se no se no hubo record de ninguno de ustedes o sea fue como que si ustedes no hubiesen ingresado All right entonces okay All right entonces yo recibí una notificación ahora de eso y a mí me extrañó bastante puesto que hemos tenido las clases normales en everything right lo que se me hizo extraño es que sí hubo esa clase, a, a esta, esa clase, en donde todos están a cero en cuanto a minutos. Everybody is at zero. Entonces, básicamente, lo que ellos han propuesto es que, pues como es necesario incluir esos minutos, ¿vale? y aparentemente como que Zoom se pusieron en contacto con los, 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 los soporte técnico de Zoom and everything, pero ellos no, no recibieron ningún tipo de respuesta de parte de, de, del servicio técnico de Zoom. Así que debido a eso, y pues debido a que hoy es último día, me notificaron de que eh, han tomado a bien de que mañana tengamos la sesión, pero como una retroalimentación de lo que estuvimos viendo ese día y mañana hacer la encuesta de satisfacción. Porque sí o sí me dijeron que necesitan esos, esos, esos minutos. So basically, today we will finish with the last uh, topic from the manual. Pero ya mañana sería como un general review. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. That's, that's what It's they said. Pretty. Entonces, creo, supongo yo, que ellos mañana se van a poner en contacto con ustedes y les van a explicar el motivo por el cual eh, nos vamos a extender una sesión más. Right. Y, y básicamente mañana sería, y pues como es en la última clase del, 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 del módulo, que se hace, hace la encuesta, sería básicamente mañana. Entonces, eh, ¿qué vamos a, a desarrollar la encuesta? Y aparentemente ese problemita sucedió en prácticamente todas las clases en las cuales eh, la aplicación, no sé qué, qué fallo tuvo, pero que no contó minutos para los estudiantes. Yeah, it's true. My, my, co my co-worker, uh, my, co my co-worker student and the other course mm -hmm. and they told me it's about the problem he 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 can he can give the another the, the other class the other class because the problem is soon don't have a a, a minute 
I mean, yeah. I mean in, in English class. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, so yeah, the so. class is there in the platform, pero como dijo uh, ahí, I mean, uh, main boss, main boss is from support, right? You will need to set up the minutes for the students. Otherwise, the class don't work. So we got we got to follow up rules, and that's why we're gonna have an extra class, guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> And I was like, Manuela, we got like, what? Are you serious? No. I was planning to sleep tomorrow as soon as I was coming from work. And I was like, ah, anyways. Yeah, no, no, no. It's a have a problem. I don't finish my platform. I, I still. Ah, Manuel. So it is giving you more extra time, Manuel. So you need to finish between today and tomorrow. That, that okay. was homework. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna check on the ones who are missing porque sí, me faltan como un hay como un 4% que no me ha terminado en sí la plataforma y you yeah. need to finish you need to finish I por lo menos el 80% no, when we start the next level no I would like to you if I tell you ah, you will start uh, in two weeks uh, I, I don't really know posiblemente por como veo la cantidad de estudiantes que hay en el módulo, um, probably dentro de unas dos semanas y medio podrían comenzar ustedes. Porque okay. necesita, necesita, okay. eh, necesita hacer un relleno este grupo. Yeah, it's, it's necessary. Mm -hmm. uh, beginning, beginning fast and my last, my, my last course is about three months. I don't know what the problem is. Uh, English corporative. Actually, actually, is is not uh, about uh, English corporative itself. It's about the people. For example, if you take a look, we got like three people that just disconnected and they didn't connect anymore. So that people left. So that's the problem. And and in Insafor, it is required to be. 20 people for a course 20 20 people exactly more than 20 but not less than 20 so that's the reason why sometimes it takes time to start the new ne level right that's why it's difficult sometimes because these people from from english corporativo they had to look for people just to fill fill yeah. the group with the 20 students okay mm -hmm. That's the difficult part sometimes, and that's why it takes a long time. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the reason. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, so probably when we leave uh, uh, before I finish the class, I'm going to explain that to the general, you know, to, to, to the rest of the class, so they might have an idea that tomorrow we're going to have the last day. Okay. Yeah, but but you received the, the, the information, right, Kenya? Yes, I received. Okay. I check in my WhatsApp and I, I found. Ah, okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so I'll go and check uh, these other people, what they're doing. If they are finished, we're going to go back to the main section, okay? Okay. Nice, nice. Hi guys, how's everything? Hi. Uh, oh, it's okay, I think. You finished? Yeah. No. <laughs> huh? Not mm -hmm. yet. <clears throat> Everybody's here. Nobody's sleeping. I don't know. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. This is Gabi. <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> Me llega la honestidad, me, me llega esa honestidad. Gaby, no yet. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just doing it somewhere else. Guys, I bring you, I bring you a bad news. Uh, no, what? Yeah. Tomorrow we start the other class. ¿Cómo lo supo, Smith? 
<laughs> Why is that? I don't know, guys, if you have seen the information from the um, satisfaction survey. No. I mean, the information. You don't even have if you receive it, Gabby. You check that you, uh, at least that you received information, Gabby? Yes, I did. Today in the ah. morning. Mm, okay. Listen up, guys. What is happening? Apparently, we had a class in which you guys didn't uh, didn't uh, didn't get any record of minutes so your record is at zero minutes on 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 one class and apparently it was a uh, it was an issue uh, of zoom right so people from from the company uh contacted at the tech support uh of you know of zoom but apparently they haven't received any answer from from zoom so they asked to people from from in if it was pos if it was possible to just to leave it like that right that class with no minutes but these people told that we need to basically to provide feedback and, and have those 120 minutes from that class in which you didn't have any record. And apparently, apparently that happened not only with us guys, it happened with uh, all the courses that are running. So it was on a specific day in which Zoom didn't record any minutes. So basically, that's the reason why we need to uh, uh, extend one more session till tomorrow. So basically, tomorrow, we will have the satisfaction survey. And we're going to make a general review, focusing on that topic that we were teaching when you didn't uh, have any record of minutes. That if I'm not grown, it was class number nine. In the beginning, <laughs> I think it was. I, mean, it week, was a... I think it was on week one. Give me a second, because people from Misafor contacted me uh, early this morning. Yeah, section one, uh, section nine. Um, yeah, analyze three PL service vocabulary. That's that was the topic. So we're gonna be talking about three PL vocabulary tomorrow. That was exactly a month ago. Yeah, I mean, exactly a month ago. It was on the 17th, March the 17th. <laughs> exactly one month ago. So we got to do that. Okay. All right. Good. <laughs> So you are about to be ready, guys? Uh, yes, but we haven't finished yet, but we're going to finish. <laughs> okay, good, good. Try to organize what you're going to tell each one of you, and then we're going to go back to the main section, okay? Okay. Nice. Let's see. It's different form to express. Yes, the vocabulary is different. Uh, yes. work. Jaime, if you want, you can start and we can try to to, to say it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good evening, everyone. We create a program for a cycle school program. And basically, that are four steps. First, establish a schedule for accounting cycles. And in this step, we need to determine how often the Counts will take place, for example, weekly, monthly, and and then we need to decide which yeah, which items will be counted in each content cycles, and finally assign responsibility 
for carrying 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 out the content. Now, um, Daniel to, will be continued. As a second point is we are in our cyclus, our cyclus program with other carry out the count to cyclus. And this item we select a random sample of item to account. Uh, it could be, uh, we select, uh, for example, a uh, product, uh, electronic products, uh, we decided to select, we, we count how many products we have it um, uh, and, and, and available to sell for in these months and the other uh, six months uh, what product is able to sell. Um, after that, we uh, in uh, the next weekend we compare the results with the inventory and we make our records and uh, calculate the percent of variation with that have in our in our warehouse. Uh, uh, the other eating we have in the second point, we investigate any discrepancies that and correct the inventory record if we have a. Uh, uh, our problem or, or water discrepancy that don't match with our uh, note. Uh, in the third point, uh, Christian, we explain about that. As third step, we have the analyze the results. Uh, we identified that if any root cause of this discrepancy, we need to develop solution for any causes of uh, inaccuracies. And the last step is to implement improvements. Basically is update uh, process, uh, processes and procedure, procedures, procedure. how do you say? Procedures. 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 Jesucristo se me había olvidado. <laughs> no uh, pr procedures or processes to avoid any errors in the future. In addition to training uh, employees in new processes. Also, uh, we can count with a monitor to accuracy of inventory records to ensure improvements are effective and uplift. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nice, nice. You're going good. You're going good, guys. Thank you. Nice, nice. I will check this last group that they didn't finish. If they finish, we're going to go back to the main section, okay? Okay. okay. Nice. Yes. Okay, and the benefits are in page. I am the same page. I don't know. In page thirty nine. Oh my gosh. Maybe we have we have to talk about it. Though. Just say number five. Uh, number five, I think is Gabby. Okay. I'm gonna send it. I don't know. Carla, number one and two. Austin, three, four. Gabby, five. Naomi, six and seven. <clears throat> You're done now? Mm -hmm. I think <laughs> I think we are perfect. Okay, cool. If you got it now, let's go back to the main section. Okay. See you there. See you. Bye.
Who wants to be the first group to start, guys? I will be so kind and give you the chance for you to say, me, teacher, I want to be the first one. I want to break out the ice in here. And I want to like finish with this soon. You are so kind. We can be the first. <laughs> exactly. That's the attitude. You see, that's what I was ah, willingly to listen. Okay, guys, let's start. I'm all ears. Okay. Hi, man. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I can turn off the microphone. <laughs> okay. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, we create a program for a cycles count. Uh, we create a program for a cycle count program. Basically, that are four steps. The first, we establish in a schedule for a counting cycles. Um, in this step, we need to determine how often the count will take place, uh, for example, weekly or monthly. And then we need to decide each, which items will be counted in each count cycles. And finally, we need to assign, assign responsibility for carrying out the count. Now, uh, Daniel will be continuing. Okay, good evening, everyone. Uh, as a second point, to make a secret count program with a, a carry out the counting cycle. And in, one, in the first kitchen, uh, we select a random sample for it into account. Uh, it depends on our, if our product is, um, if, if have a lot of in our warehouse, we uh, select a specific product and we select a personal for account. It, it will take a note for be uh, have a, a, a good presentation our our client. Uh, in the other item, we have a account item and record to resolve and compare result with the inventory record and calculate the percentage of variation. In this e-chain, uh, uh, we were checks our notes a uh, compare in a different amount. Uh, if we have a, a, a bit uh, a less uh, sales, uh, we we create, we will create a strategy for improving this vari uh, variation. After that, uh, we investigate any discrepancies and correct the inventory records for uh, uh, for for improve our results and the end of the the each month. Uh, the next point, uh, Christian. Will explain. As uh, third step, we choose analyze 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 the results. Basically, is identify any root causes of discrepancy to develop solution for any causes in of inaccuracies. Uh, also, in the last step, we have the implement improvements update procedures or processes to avoid any error errors in the future in addition to training employees in new processes and monitor the monitor the accuracy of the inventory records to ensure uh, improvements are effective and uplift applied thank you okay there you go. Thank you, Christian, Jaime, and Daniel. Good. Who wants to be next, guys?
anyone that might say, me teacher, I'm next. Oh my God, okay, good. So, <laughs> what you gonna do? You three guys, choose one person. A random person. Give me the name of a random person. Might be Christian, Jaime, or Daniel. Me in this case, uh, I select two days in Maricel and I go. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you, Daniel. And this is like, I'm hating you, Daniel. <laughs> okay, Daniel, thank, thank you. you. Daniel. <laughs> Okay, Daisy, who were you working with? Kenya, Edwin, and Manuel. Okay, great. I'm all ears, guys. Okay, uh, we select a program for a uh, shoe sale. Uh, a cycle count program is. Uh, Number one, is select the 20% from the inventor to check. And number two, look for the people that uh, you need for the inventory. And number three, prepare the tag check. And I, uh, uh, Edwin, continue <laughs> to continue. Well, good evening, everyone. In this case, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh -huh, Mister. I think that I have a problem with the song. Edwin, Mister, we don't listen to you. Yeah, yeah. To you. Uh, now, can you hear uh, me? Now, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, this thing. Okay, so as I, as I was telling you guys, uh, we have a list use because we thought that we had to do the exercise number six, seven. So, but I will try to uh, continue explain. Uh, the next one that uh, we select is do the circle account. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, we decided to uh, put in this order because uh, we we already uh, mentioned the uh, select select the inventory. Uh, stock and then look the people that uh, prepare the do the circle account uh, will help you to uh, prepare that uh, we have to sell uh, we were talking about that our product it will be choose. Uh, uh, so, I'm sorry, it's a little bit noisy. And um, we have to uh, produce a, how do you say, lot? Loads? A uh, lot? A lot. Uh, well, we were talking about uh, sell shoes and okay, we have to prepare a, a lot from 300 uh, pair of shoes and we are going to divide them in, in three parts, 100 in a week, then uh, another part in the other week and, and so on. Mm -hmm. Uh, that is what I do about this. And then, well, I have to let my partner that they 
share what they think about this because uh, we only select on uh, six steps. So uh, my partner will continue, teacher. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. Well. Uh, um. Uh, the first steps was do the SQL account mm -hmm. and the number five, localize the cause of the errors or and correct the inventory record with the mistake that we identify in the SQL account. And the last point is solve the mistake in the system with the correct number. Is we we say if we found um more inventory or less we have to adjust in the system and then we finally have the same number that are in the physical that we respect with the numbers that are in the system okay great and before we repeat with the another 20 percent we have to make five cyclical accounts for complete the 100%. Hmm. Okay. And that is all. Okay, great. Besides you, it was another person, right? Mm, I think, but I don't remember who is. <laughs> All right, it was you, it was Daisy, it was Edwin, and? Manuel. Ah, yeah, I mean, Manuel is missing. Why, Manuel? Manuel. You, you got the camera off, Manuel. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's <laughs> I. Something else to add, Manuel? <laughs> no, teacher, it's, no. I I don't I don't understand I don't understand very well is the is the different state but but my classmate exp explain it explain me it's about the 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 different step is oh my god sorry in the different step uh, if the if the company if they select uh, the 20 20 percent the in the in the mentor to check and and they see Kenya and Edwin explains a different, a different, but different the same. But is the the finish is uh, the the finish step is uh, is necessary to solve uh, the mis the mistake in the in the system with the records the, with the records numbers. Mm -hmm. Only that. Good. That's all what you got to share. All right, Manuel. I'm pretty sure the next activity that we're going to be talking about, you will be uh, talking more because this it, it will be like kind of different the topic. And I'm pretty sure you will, you will got more, more things to talk about. Manuel, I will, um, hmm, let me see. I know actually it's only one more, la one more group. So I will I will tell you to choose the next group, but actually I just got the last group over here, so it is not really necessary because they are next. So thank you, Manuel. <laughs> All right. So I want to listen, Noemi, Gabi, Carla, and and I'm pretty sure I'm missing another person over here. Osbin. Yeah. Osbin, I think he was. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah. Okay. Um, for our our you know cycle camp program, and uh, we're going to do it the following. You know, uh, you know, we're going to do it following this step for number. One. I'm going to explain step number one and two, and then my cousin is going to explain the others. <laughs> uh, for step number one. We were thinking on selecting a uh, three hundred, uh, you know, items, products, parts, finished products for week number one because we thought that we're going to do all of this cycle count program for one week, 
Uh, I mean, this counting is going to be done in one week. And after this, after this step, we're going to do in, in step number two is to divide these items into dozens because we think that this way is a little bit easier to make the count of this you know, great amount of items that we have. Mm -hmm. um, and so that it comes, maybe can we come a little bit more like, accurate, I think. Mm -hmm. So that's why. Uh, Aspen is going to explain the other, the other steps. Okay, there you go. This is very safe um, in an inventory using a, a record. Uh, record the item using a system a aromatic of called bar. Um, when we take um, an inventory using a record bar, then it's necessary to review the item in the system. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next class. Wow. Okay, good. Thank you, Osbin. Who's next? Uh, me. The next step will be localized costs and errors of the incorrect uh, inventory record. It depends what is the mistake if we have more or less items in the in the count. So basically, we have what we have to do is we'll like do a recount. Like guys, do a count. Okay, okay. Okay, basically, when you localize uh, some uh, errors, cause of errors, you can select another icon for repeat the process. And after you, you have to, you have to repeat again for re reaching the highest accuracy because you need a process that that have the precision, the, the highest precision for the inventory. Mm, okay, okay, good. So that's all you gotta do guys, no more, right? No more. Okay, great. Thank you, Noemi, Ospin, Gabby, and Carla. All right, guys. So we're gonna move on to the last page uh, from the manual. Like we're gonna be like, you know, like sharing with you. And we're gonna go straight to this page. Now, as I said, we're gonna be discussing about the ideas and keys details in a passage about an inventory management crisis. Okay, good guys. And as I said, since we're gonna be talking about the crisis of uh, an inventory management, you know, like development, I would like guys we to discuss and provide ideas about this question. Manuel, help me reading this question, please. This is like the question that we're gonna start off. Okay, will you willing we do business with a company? that caused you a bad experience in the past. All right, guys. Uh, I would like to start opening uh, this conversation <sighs> about management crisis with this question. Would you willingly do business with a company that caused you bad experience in the past? All right. I, will, I want you guys to share ideas and gather one single idea and tell me, would you do really do business with a company like that? If yes, why? If not, why? All right. I want you to tell me the reasons, but the idea here is like you to, you know, like share your, your, your thought with classmates and everything, right? Just to continue practicing with this, right? Remember, in this case, this is like the question that we're gonna be uh, discussing for a couple of minutes. I will give you five minutes for this, for doing this, guys. 
you share your ideas with a classmate and then when we come back everybody's gonna tell me a short opinion about this about what you discuss with your classmates okay let's remember would you do business in a, with a company like that yes or no if it is yes why if it is no why as well okay let's discuss that guys and then we're gonna come back in here Let's get joined, guys. Get joined. Okay. okay. The question that we discuss is: uh, Will you will willingly do business with a uh, company that causes you bad experience in the past? What is willingly meaning? I don't know. Willingly, like voluntariamente. Oh, okay, thank you. Hi, Lorena, mm -hmm. you here? Hi, good evening. Hi. Okay, uh, only the question with excuse, Mr. Yeah, 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 yeah. So in that case, what you're gonna do is like, just to discuss guys, will you do business with a company like that? If it is yes, why will you do business with a company like that? If it is no, why not? All right. So I added two more people in here guys to the discussion, Lorena and Estela, okay? So, so you will have more ideas, okay? Okay. Nice. <laughs> In the I earn, uh, and I get, and I earn a lot of, a lot of, a lot of money with the, with the carnival. And Eric Gastarba teacher. Huh? Gastare, quack. Gastare, o sea, que, que costó más el, los productos. Spend. Spend. You mean spend? Spend. Mm -hmm. Okay, spending, okay. I I spending a, a lot of money Spent. and the different products and, and the and the carnival dwelling. And in my case, I, I don't like I wouldn't like to to I wouldn't like to another to to another experience with with the with this company. In my case. I don't know, what do you think about it? Uh, well, in my case, uh, I do believe. For example, um, in my case, for example, a personal experience is that when I work in another company, I say that I never work in the company that I I work in this moment because uh, mm -hmm. they really had a bad services but with the with the time they they have more experience they have more um, security on another on another uh, points that they improve and in this moment, I can recommend the, the company. It's not only because I work in there, if no, because uh, I I can uh, uh, I can how do you say comprobar teachers? Proof. Proof. Sorry, I can prove that the experience is better than in the past when I when I never wanted to to work with the company in my case is it another point yeah <laughs> that's good what you said i mean i haven't think i haven't thought about it, that but as you have experienced that that is like you <laughs> I'm yes, I, I, have, I really have a 
bad experiences with the company at the beginning, but I I told you that around that uh, had problem or will be had problem in the future, and it's very difficult. But if my ex my experience is with um, a product, uh, my uh, I lost the confidence uh, with the product, not with the company, but I don't know. Uh, the situation can be different to the to the experience. I don't know. Okay. Like Stella said, I think is depend of the situation because uh, if you have some troubles with the product or if you have pro uh, problems with the distributor or if you have problems with with them, but also you have uh, like a historial with um, with with a good experience with with this kind of company. You mean I a background? Think, uh -huh, like a background. Uh, maybe we can give uh, a second chance to for the company, but it's like depends of the situation. Like Stella say. What does the rest think? I mean, tell us about your experience, if you have. Okay. Um, in the past, when I was a chavito, <laughs> when I have a, when a chavito, <laughs> <laughs> um, I worked at uh, Maquila. Wow. And, and I, my work is, well, sorry, how do you say era? I was? I was um, accounting and pack up the, the, the cloth. And, okay. and, um we 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 exportation this this product at uh, USA but once upon um we we don't sleep for a three three nights but because we need to to export the the, the product and we and and I I I I was the write a document for the exportation, and I I I, I slept for I slept um I don't know cada cinco minutos um. <laughs> We need to start again for because I no sé manchar la hoja. In the page. In the page. Um, and we need. I need to start again because I will be asleep. Asleep. <laughs> okay. And this is a bad experience for me in, in the past. Ah, okay. Pretty interesting. Okay. Understood, guys. Okay, great. I'd like to know uh, all those experiences you may have. I, I guess you have discussed this, right? So I am expecting if you will give a second chance to a company like that or not, okay? Good. Let's go to the main section, guys. Want to listen to you there. See you there.
Okay, cool. So everybody's coming back. All right, guys. Who would like to start sharing opinions about if you will give or not a second chance to a company like that? Hmm? Taking in consideration that the question is, will you willingly do business with a company that caused you a bad experience in the past? Would you do really, really, really give a second chance to a company like that or no, guys? Who wants to start? Yeah, I don't, I don't have a, a, a business with a, this company, but I have a, a bad experience. Mm -hmm. Because in the past, I was, a, I have a, a good job. Mm -hmm. And this company look my uh, curriculum in a uh, LinkedIn. They they is 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 a example uh -huh, uh -huh. of a, a bad experience. Uh -huh. <laughs> and this company look at uh, my curriculum in a uh, in a uh, LinkedIn. Uh, they uh, they call me and and they offer more salary for uh, offer me more, more salary mm -hmm. but but this company uh, they they uh, they they so they uh, estaban pensando irse para otro país they mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they uh, think uh, go up to the Nicaragua. Ah, they were thinking of moving to Nicaragua. Yes, but they, uh, they um, me sacaron de la buena empresa donde estaba. I don't know. <laughs> uh, and and oh only, yes, and only Joe by one year, and they, and then, then they go up to the Nicaragua. It was a bad uh, experience for me. Jesus Christ. So basically you stopped working in the company that you were previously working and then you worked in that company only for a year and then that company moved to Nicaragua and you lost yes. both jobs. Yes, yes. What, a, what a bad company for me. Uh, yeah, I mean, that was definitely a bad experience. Oh, man. <laughs> Ah, oh, man, I can't tell your previous boss, I told you so. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, there are times in which we, 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 we regret about actions or decisions that we take related to jobs. Yes, what's that about decision? <laughs> I have regretted about decisions making, believe me. I yeah. regretted like, like three times about losing jobs in which I, I, I now that I start thinking on, on that, uh, looking at the past and everything, I will say, I mean, I will have been better there. But I don't know what <laughs> happened to me that I, 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 I quit it from there and I was okay. And I was like better and, 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 and a lot of things. And, and, and I don't really start the, uh, like, you know, like thinking on that because I got depressed when I, when I realized that I, I messed up. <laughs> but, but yeah, I mean, our experiences that we got. Yeah. All right. Thank you for sharing that experience, Osbin. All right. All right, guys. Uh, by the way, Osbin, who are you working with? So we can follow up the chain. Uh, me, Maria. Um, Carla. Okay, good, good. Carla. Then Noemi. Then Gabby. Me? Okay. Um, I have never had a bad experiences in a company, <laughs> but uh, according to the question, uh, I think that maybe. It is a little bit, uh, you know, difficult to accept maybe a business, you know, with me, like willingly <laughs> with a company that maybe could cost me a bad experience. I don't know, because I haven't, you know, experienced that. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. but maybe it is a little bit difficult because when you have bad experiences i think that the, one of the things that you want is like move uh, move over <laughs> and you don't want to you know you wouldn't want it to happen again to you so maybe you know thinking about it is for me maybe it will be a little bit difficult but as Noemi is going to say, <laughs> but she told me or told us an experience of her. So that kind of, you know, I was thinking that maybe if the company uh, changes or improves us in the company that she's uh, working on, did, uh, maybe that would be like one point in consideration to do business with this kind of Company. Yeah, that would be interesting. Uh, yeah, I think that <laughs> that's like my opinion because I have never had experience like that. <laughs> mm, <okay. Yeah. laughs> thank you, thank you, Carla. Noemi, what is that experience, Noemi? Hey. <laughs> uh, okay, no, I think that uh, the decision that I work with uh, with the same company or the same person, maybe. It is depending of the circumstance. Uh -huh. because in my case, I have two experience. For example, when I work in another company, I have uh, a really bad experience with the company that I work now. And I never want to work again with the company. Uh -huh. but, but with the with the time. Mm -hmm. uh, the company proved that the that they have more experience they can be provide more services mm -hmm. and they improve a lot of topics or a lot of uh, aspects that they the services that they provide in this case i i uh, i choose the the decision that I work with them. Mm -hmm. In this case, I can recommend the company not only because I work in, in there. Uh, I can provide, I can prove mm -hmm. that the company have a lot of experience in the services that they provide. Oh, but man. yes, but in another in another situation, um, it's more personal. And I have um about the experience with the company that, that they provide um, internet in my area, but all my 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 friends, my neighbor, uh, they they claim uh, frequently that they have problem with the with the service. Wow. I really I have uh, these services, but I never I never contract again with them. Because the services continues um, the really it's bad in It's terrible. I, I think is uh, are the both different experience, but is depending of the situation. I think. Uh, I understand you uh, when you mention company providers. You know, like 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 services like that, like internet service and everything. Especially when you don't live downtown or you don't live near the city. Like in my case, I live in the countryside. Right? I don't know if you have ever come to San Miguel, people. Have you ever come to San? Uh, David says no. Come on, David. You should come in here, but be ready and drink a lot of water, or you will be like desired and here by the carnival. Exactly. No, but the situation here is like, uh, since I, I live in a countryside, it's difficult for companies to 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 reach, you know, like the, the, the cables and everything here. So all in my house is through, you know, like antennas. The internet is with antenna. Uh, the TV provider is also with antennas. And I got serious problems when when winter comes because it's like i mean it's about to rain all right so probably it's going to rain in 20 minutes so prior to 20 minutes i don't have sign up <laughs> no internet no television anything i i mean it's going to rain <laughs> like that so 
and is it as as you said it sucks it, it sucks uh like to be complaining with the companies and everything and they apparently give you a solution but actually it's not like a real solution so that that my hope was like for example uh with an internet provided to test out the this new internet that that just released here but it's expensive man it's super expensive a friend of mine got it already, but man, just imagine with with the equipment just to pay for hundred dollars for that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of money. So it, it is a good internet, you know, like like because it's good, it's good, but yeah, I mean it's it's too expensive. But we can share those experiences like that, right? Gabby, what can you tell us? Gabby? Well, uh, fortunately, I haven't had uh, any bad experience, but mm -hmm. if I have the opportunity or if I, if that case presents to me, uh, obviously I'm not going to return or willingly uh, do a, uh, a project or, or sign a contract again with them if I have the chance to do it. But if in your, like if it's like your case that I don't have any option, well, Obviously, I have any options. So, unfortunately, I have to accept it with us, but really, link now. Okay, okay, good point. Good point of view. All right, good. Osbin, you work with them, right, Osbin? Yes. What can you tell us, Osbin? Are you there, Mister? Oh, it's been. Okay, I think he, he's not there. All right, guys, let's continue. Mm -hmm. Jaime? Okay. Um, I can't uh, about the bad experience in the past. Mm -hmm. um, I tell us and when I when I was a young man, <laughs> okay. I am um, 19, 19 years old uh, uh -huh. around. And uh, I I work at uh, Maquila. Ah you work in a Maquila okay. Yeah and we really we packed the, the 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 clothes in in the box and in, in the box and then we we um organize in the in the in the container mm -hmm. but um in once upon a time and my co-workers and me don't sleep um around three three nights you didn't sleep for about three nights. Jesus Christ. Three nights for because we need to 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 end the, the work for um exportation. And and the third night when uh, we the, we don't sleep, I write in the in the document for uh exportation. Mm -hmm. And when I I write, I will be asleep and when I reaction again and I, I cross the everything, you messed up everything, I guess. Yeah, I, and I need and I need a start again for a, a ride, and then three or or four four uh, uh, shit and don't sleep is a bad experience in the work. Oh my god. You know, you, 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 do, you, do you really want me to tell you something, guys? Since I started working like, like, like a couple of months ago, before the, 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 the end of the year, I started working in, an, in another company on weekends related to logistics. I have been working as a teacher in a private institution. It's, it's an academy. It's an English academy. So I have been there from 7 in the morning until 6 in the afternoon. 
the whole day, the whole day. So right after that, I had these classes. I have been, uh, you know, with previous groups uh, from eight to 10. And you know what? Like you finish classes with me. So you got to sleep in the seat and everything. So I had to wait for the video to, to get converted, right? On MP3 format or MP4 format and upload this video to YouTube. So it requires time. There have been some times in which only the conversion of the video lasts two hours, guys. Two hours, just imagine. Two hours of class, plus two hours being waiting in here like, looking at the, look, looking at the percentage like this. Oh my God, are you going to go up or what? <laughs> and um, I have been, there have been times in which I have been finishing with this work at about 12 sometimes, 12.30 sometimes depending on how fast is, is, is the conversion of the video and everything. All right, and this has been from Monday to Friday. So then on Saturdays, I got classes as well in that company from uh, seven to 12. And then I have come here uh, home again and I start working in the logistic companies from three to 12 in the, in the, in the morning, Saturday and Sunday. So basically for the last four months, I haven't had any day off because on Holy Week, I had to work on that company. <laughs> so basically I didn't have any kind of vacation. So man, I have been classes with previous uh, groups that I have been here and it happened something similar to you, Jaime. I have been here, but I have been talking about a specific topic, but in my mind, I'm sleeping. I mean, I'm dreaming that I'm teaching and I'm actually teaching, but I have been talking nonsenses. <laughs> nonsenses. And, uh, and, it, and it has been weird because just imagine being here and then uh, like just like closing my eyes like that, talking and talking and talking. But then I realize I, I'm not talking about uh, what am I supposed to be teaching. I've been talking other nonsenses. I mean, it's been, it's been weird sometimes. Those are so basically, teacher. You're a <laughs> a what? I've been like uh, a I've been like a zombie. Ah, like a zombie. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, luckily, I have now. I have less work to do, so I feel like, like you know, like more, more act more alive you know somehow <laughs> so uh now it's, it's like like a little bit different especially in this in this in this in this shift at this time i'm not like ah like you know like asking for a time a time out <laughs> all right good so uh, that was your experience jaime good christian what can you add about that christian according to what you were uh, you know like sharing with with your, your classmates Mm, well, in my case, I mm -hmm. think if we lost truth in the company, it's kind of difficult to work with. Um, but however, however, um, mm -hmm. if the company takes all the responsibility for the issues, it may be possible to revive the confidence and continue the business relationship. Mm -hmm. Also, we have to take in account that is the pain of the situation. My my like my other partner says, uh, if you have problems with the products, transportation um, of the company, mm -hmm. uh, but if you have like a background, like you say, or a large history with successful processes, uh, I think mm -hmm. I could give another opportunity for 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 the company. Okay, okay, you will give a second chance. Okay, good, good point. Thank you, Christian. Uh, Estela, you were in that group, right? So what's your opinion on that, Estela? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, I comment with my partner that I, I never suffer a bad experience with uh, some company. Mm -hmm. uh, but if it's it's very difficult to get confidence when uh, 
some company um, to do a bad experience, experience for, for you. Mm -hmm. um, for example, but sometimes you have bad experience with the product, but it's it's difficult to um, catalog. Catalog. A catalog um, bad experience to the company for a product because, for example, I buy a, a watermelon in the in some a place mm -hmm. and the watermelon is white and it, it don't, doesn't have it isn't a uh, sweet uh -huh. it's not problem to the to the person uh, that uh, sell me the, the watermelon mm -hmm. and uh, the problem is the product but the product uh, they buy in another in another place mm -hmm. and uh, this an example and uh, it's a bad product but uh, it's not the guilt to the to the company for example mm -hmm. when you have a bad experience with a product sometimes it's not a problem with the with the company it's problem to the product mm -hmm. uh, but um for, uh, in my experience with jobs, I didn't have bad experience. <laughs> ah, lucky you. Know. Okay, okay, good. Now, remember, but, but applying to the pure Salvadorian thinking, Estela, because that even have happened to me. For example, if something, if I buy something, let's suppose if I, I if I buy. Uh, as you said, a watermelon to a specific store and the watermelon uh, looks like white, as you said, it with no flavor, with you know, like not tasty. Uh, the first thing I will say is like, I will never go to buy that again in that place. <laughs> That's the first thing. I mean, I will never return and buy on, in that place because uh, the product sucks. And that's it. People generally think that way. And as you said, sometimes it's not it's not about who sells the product. It's, it's the product that it comes that way, right? But because of that, eh, that, 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 that little puesto there, I mean, in that little store there, loses a client. <laughs> it happens sometimes. It happens. All right. All right, good. Good, good view, Stella. Daisy. Yeah, Daisy has ensured the opinion. <laughs> okay. Uh, in our case, uh, we were exposed in different experience mm -hmm. in different companies. Mm -hmm. uh, we all think that we do not work with a company uh, that causes our um, bad experience. Mm -hmm. uh, in my case, uh, I can mention that if a construction company does not comply with the contract times, mm -hmm. that generates, man, generates many problems in the administrative and legal process. Mm -hmm. uh, therefore, obviously, we cannot hire that company again. Mm -hmm. uh, um uh the 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 the, the trust is lost uh, the problem in the company uh, they create a bad record mm -hmm. for example mm -hmm. i i think ah okay okay let me let me let me understand this situation and this is for all of you guys Let's suppose you want to, to, to build your own house. This is like taking from the idea as Daisy was saying. Let's suppose you want to build your own house and you hire a company, you know, like a construction company to build up your house and everything. And they give you a budget, right? All right, uh, we're gonna do your house for this price, this specific price and everything, it includes everything. 
but right after when they start the, the, the you know, like building your house, they came out with another price and they came out with different times and everything. And, uh, and, and then you had to spend more money on that and you messed up everything. Will you trust in a company like that again? All right, so everybody say no now, huh? Interesting, okay, good. Manuel? What's your opinion, Manuel? Not about what I'm saying, right? But what you were practicing and, and discussing with your classmates. Okay. Um, in my case, I was working as a consultant. It's about 10 years. And mm -hmm. it's always advisor for a different company. And, and last year, I had a problem with one company. I organized and the ecologist cut carnival and mm -hmm. I I had I had to I had to to buy I, I had to buy a different product product ecologist mm -hmm. and two 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 French ecologists mm -hmm. I don't remember Sepiadiente brushed it what a toothbrush actually two brushes two brush and and the um, bottle bottle ecology is, is the metal and and the and the company and the company cha change the change the 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 time with the carnival mm -hmm. and 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 change change the price the different products and mm -hmm. I I was I was to I eh, gastar teacher perdón se me olvidó la palabra spend I I I I, I, I had, had to spend a lot of money for the different product mm -hmm. and I and 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 I and I lost I lost a lot of money and I. I I had to price uh, a lot of uh, more more taxes and uh, you gotta pay more taxes, okay? Oh yeah, yeah, and and for me it's a big problem, and I lost it's about four thousand dollars, and and when okay finish the carnival ecologist and when the company. And this this year uh, told told me is Manuel, please uh, uh, help help the other help the other work. Oh, yeah. oh no, thank you. I don't want, I don't want to work again with with <laughs> you. <laughs> no, please not again with you. <laughs> please don't call me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Manuel. Nah, man, it's, it, that, that sucks. That sucks. All right, so I'm going to end up with uh, Kenya and Elwin. They're going to be the last people to, to participate. First, Kenya and then Elwin. Okay. Uh, I will... Sorry. And I'm sorry for, and I'm sorry for you guys uh, because here's like starting raining. Jesus Christ. Uh, hi, Edwin. No, you said ladies first. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I will. I... Yes. Go ahead, Kenny. Well, I don't remember a bad situation with. Ah, a ah okay. But I told if you, I, I told you, will say, I don't remember what I'm going to say. <laughs> okay, again. <laughs> if I. I had a bad, a bad experience with the company. I think that I don't come back for that company. Ah, okay. You wouldn't give a second chance to a company like that if you had a, a, bad, a previous bad experience then? Yes, I, I, I don't. Uh, ah, okay. I don't. Aha, uh -huh. all right. You wouldn't do it. Okay, good. I understand your point. Mm. Unless right. that 
company changes all the personal, all the things. I think mm. that Estela told about that. So you will think about it. Okay, okay. Yes, but before a lot of time, maybe that the company have a different administration mm, and okay. change. Uh -huh. Okay. For better. Really. I got you. I got <laughs> you. Course. All right. <laughs> Okay, good, good, good. Now, Edwin, what about you, Edwin? Uh, well, teacher, in my case, uh, I believe everyone uh, could have uh, the, a second chance. So I do believe in that. But the, as always, there is a, a but in this, because if I were a, a man of business, or I had a company, well, if, I had a uh, uh, bad experience mm -hmm. making businesses with any kind of products with a company or by myself. Uh, first of all, uh, for example, if this happened three or four or five years ago, and then uh, the same company contacts me because they want to make a business with me well first I have to uh, study the situation because if in that time I lost money and not just money if uh, uh, I lost my time uh, my producing time also so first I have to study the possibilities if this uh, person or company uh, has changed in, in order to know their gap. Mm. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. So basically you agree with Kenya, like if the company changed it, its personal and everything, uh, you might get a chance for that company. So let's suppose you got Gabby as, 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 as a main shift in the company and Gabby does a bad job so if 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 in the company uh you know like remove gabby and put lorena as a main chief there so you will have an a a, a second chance for that company uh, i i have i well <laughs> i would have uh, thinking that because uh, one person is not uh, mainly but remember the decision is sometimes it's taken for one specific person. And then the rest is just the followers. Might be possible, Edwin. <laughs> All right, but I guess I guess your idea, Edwin. But let's imagine, man, is is sometimes it's truly difficult. To change the whole personnel in a company, so, so in other words, it will be like kind of uh, impossible mission, right? To, to you know somehow, like get the trust of a company who previously failed on us, right? Uh, I'm interested in your in an extremely way. Uh, sometimes sacrifices are necessary. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's true. That's true. All right, guys, listen, before we go, I got a bad news for you guys. Listen, we were supposed to finish today, right? And I'm going to say this in Spanish just for everybody to understand what I'm going to say. Se suponía que este día dábamos por finalizado el módulo, pero no sé, guys, si ustedes han han revisado lo de la encuesta de satisfacción en cuanto a las fechas que les llegaron, que no tienen para el 17, sino para el 18, la fecha de finalización de curso. All right. Let, let me explain these guys para que pues no los agarren así como desprevenidos mañana, que les, les notifiquen. Listen, guys. Hace un par de clases atrás, en clase 9, para ser un tanto específico, eh, tuvimos un inconveniente. ¿En qué sentido? La aplicación Zoom, right, 
Give, give me one second, guys. Give me one second. All right. As I was saying, sorry, guys. Um, to be most with a class, like normally, it is actually in the playlist. It's in the playlist and everything. Pero sucedió algo con la plataforma. Zoom, que no les marcó a ustedes la, los minutos. Todos están a cero. Everybody got zero minutes there. Es como que nadie se haya conectado. All right? Entonces, y eso no fue un problema, like, um, mío tal vez o, o en sí, si no fue de la plataforma en sí, que no nos encontró record, entonces like ellos, eh, los de ingreso operativo han estado tratando de contactar soporte técnico desde básicamente casi un mes y hasta el momento no han tenido alguna respuesta entonces en vista de que básicamente el, el, el módulo va a acabar eh, Instafor les pidió directamente que teníamos que cubrir básicamente esos minutos, ¿ok? So, entonces, debido a ello, nos vamos a extender una sesión más para cubrir esos minutos, que básicamente no aparecen eh, como contados de esa clase. So, we're going to have a, a review. ¿Cómo se hace? Es hacer un general feedback y parte de esta página que no terminamos ahora, lo vamos a hacer mañana y por eso ahora, we didn't do the satisfaction service, sino que lo vamos a hacer hasta mañana. Entonces, eso para que al final ya el grupo no tenga ningún inconveniente cuando el Safor haga la auditoría y revise todo, right? Y ustedes ya estén available para el siguiente, para el siguiente módulo, All right? Entonces, debido a eso, es que nos vamos a extender una sesión más el día de mañana. Entonces, el día de mañana, eh, durante la sesión, vamos a hacer la encuesta de satisfacción. Que bueno, debo suponer que todos ya tienen la información, ¿correcto? ¿O hay alguien que todavía no la tenga? Si eh, alguien todavía no... ¿Ah? Perdón, es correcto. De hecho, como usted siempre se extiende y se toma minutos de más de la hora después de las 10, tomé la libertad de hacer la encuesta y vi yo de que sí, la fecha de terminación, de finalización, está para el 18, o sea, para mañana. Eso es correcto lo que se está diciendo. Solo que lo está notificando a última hora, ya cuando yo terminé la encuesta. Hubiera sido al principio. <risa> está bien, de hecho está bien, ¿verdad? Y ese problema no se dio solamente en nuestro grupo, se ha dado en todos los grupos, compañeros que tenemos en otros niveles y han tenido que reponer. Sí, es un general... It's a general uh, issue, right? No solo con este grupo, sino con grupos anteriores también, right? Ay, Daniel se me adelantó, Daniel. No, o sea, mm. siempre tiene que estar así como que eh, provisto, o sea, adelante. All right. yeah, Entonces, no, no, he enviado, no he enviado el, 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 el coso este, la, el, Screenshot. Diría, es justamente por eso, por la fecha. Ah, okay. Pero igual, le, da, le daré delete in this case. Don't worry. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, I mean, don't finish it. Okay, so in that case, we're gonna we're gonna do that tomorrow, guys. All right, and we will extend one more, more, more. Uh, you know, like section by tomorrow. Okay, good. So I'll go ahead and pass the attendance list, and that's gonna be everything that we're gonna be doing tonight, guys. And we're gonna see us each other tomorrow. Okay. So let me see, Carmen Henry's not here. Uh, Christian Alejandro. Present. Okay, great. Uh, Daniel Arquimedes. Present. Nice. Uh, Daisy Maricela. Present. Okay, Edwin Alexander. He's not here. All right, Edwin Vladimir. Present. Okay, Estela Mabel. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Fatima Adriana is not here. Fatima Lourdes. Not even here. Uh, Jaime Antonio. Present. All right. Carla Lisset. Here, teacher. Nice. Kenya Cecilia. Present. Okay, excellent. Lorena Beatriz. Present. Okay, excellent. 
Uh, Manuel Antonio. Present. Okay, nice. Uh, Maria Gabriela. Present. Okay, good. Noemi Betsabe. Present. Very good. And the last one, Osvin Alexis. Present. Okay, great. So, guys, it was a pleasure to have you here in another video conference. And let's see you tomorrow in the last one from this module, okay? Bye-bye, guys. I hope you have Bye. a wonderful night, okay? Good night. Good night, Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. All right, so basically uh, what we were doing is just to be discussing, guys, uh, part of the manual in which the students in groups were, you know, like organizing a discussion about a proposal that they were doing. What was the proposal about? It was about the implementation of a cycle count program, right? So the uh, exercise, it was related to that specific topic and the students were providing support, the, the, you know, like about the proposal, all right, with the benefits and everything that a cycle count program might bring to businesses. Uh, they were also discussing a question in the last page of their manual, and that page was related to, it says, would you willingly do business with a company that caused you a bad experience in the past? So basically what the students were doing, it's sharing their uh, own experiences, opinions about uh, the fact that if they will give a second chance to kind of companies like that or not. Uh, some of them were saying that, yeah, probably uh, if the companies uh, changed their personnel, they might have the chance to, you know, like, trust on them again. And on the other hand, that they will, they will not do it. And there were other ones that definitely said that they wouldn't give a second chance to companies like that. So by tomorrow, we will continue with this discussion related to this topic and the development of the satisfaction survey because the last class is going to be the next one. So that is going to be everything for tonight, guys. I hope you have a wonderful night. See you at the next section.